Night Farm. I am here to crush your appetite and tell you about the food you would never eat if you knew what it was made of. Let's start off sweet. It's time to ruin ice cream for you. If you are eating strawberry, vanilla or raspberry ice cream, you may be eating beaver's private areas. I am not joking. Castarium, which comes from the behind area of the male and female beavers, is an FDA-approved food additive popular in ice creams and allowed to be called natural flavoring, meaning you probably don't know that you are eating it. Uh, all of this is giving me brain freeze. <laughs> Let's move on ASAP. How about you take a guess which food that many people eat every day has an ingredient that's made of human hair? If you eat processed pies, some commercial bread or a lot of fast food, you might be eating some human hair. The ingredient is called l cysteine and it indeed is derived from our hair. Studies show that most of the hair used to make this ingredient come from China, where it's gathered from barber shops and their saloons. So, in case you would like to avoid eating human hair, buy fresh bread from a local baker. Damn, this is really crazy, isn't it? Next on the list of the food you would never eat if you knew what it was made of are chicken nuggets. <laughs> First off, I'm gonna avoid how they're made, which probably is even worse. But what's in them is pretty bad too. The silicone breast implant fillers. Yep. Many chicken nuggets contain only about 50% of chicken and the remaining 50% are synthetic ingredients, including a breast implant filler. And as we're on breast and meat, Let's talk about hot dogs. Never judge a book by its cover. Well, in the case of hot dogs, it doesn't really work that well because the elastic coating of a hot dog is made of animal intestines. And when it comes to its insides, hot dog sausage is grinded and made pretty much of everything. Pig's mouth, pig's feet, just grind it all and here's your hot dog. Blech. That's why I don't eat meat, yet I still struggle to take this information sober. And speaking of that, you would never guess, but some beers are not vegetarian. Some beers, like Guinness for example, have traces of fish in them. To be exact, fish bladder is added to beer to help remove haziness from the final product. Fish bladder? That sounds pretty bad, let's add some color to the story. Yay! Let's talk about gummy bears. La 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 la, cute, nice, sweet. Everyone loves to eat gummy bears, right? Problem is, they are made of gelatin. Which means these innocent, cute looking sweets are made of skin, bone and connective tissue found in animals. It's literally grinded pieces of animals. You could say that gummy bears have more in common with hot dogs and chicken nuggets than candy. And staying on the colorful food, I'm convinced you had some red food before, right? Problem is, most of the red food is not as red without adding carmine to it. And here's the bummer. Carmine is made by boiling insect shells in sodium carbonate. It takes about 70,000 bags to produce one pound of that. In 2012, one coffee giant got a backlash for using it in their frappuccinos. They quickly removed it, but it's still used in many other red foods we stumble upon every day. In other words, better stay away from red food with carmine on the ingredient list unless you want to eat some boiled insect shells. And I know all of these examples sound insane, but all of them are real. Ice cream, pies, nuggets, hot dogs, beer, gummy bears, red foods. All these foods are very different from each other, but at least now we know they all have one thing in common. Nasty secrets.